Welcome to the guide on how to use Cheat Engine with the Escapist. Now, there are many reasons why you would want to use Cheat Engine with the Escapist. Um, to give yourself items or change stats. Um, mostly to give yourself items. That's that's what I use it for. Um, but you know, I, I sometimes change the fatigue and everything. But um, yeah, this guide is to show you how to do that. And um, yeah, so first you're gonna need to install Cheat Engine, of course. Um, pretty uh, pretty easy to install it. You may have to disable your anti cheat. Um, I had to do that with mine, but it's but it's fine. Um, I'll I'll leave a download link in the description. And uh, so what you want to do once you have Cheat Engine open is you want to hit this computer magnifying glass. Thing. And then a window will pop up. Um, I don't think you can see it, but um, it'll list programs that are running currently on your computer. Um, click the escapist and then click open. And so now you are able to use all this stuff right here. Um, and so that was just the first step. Pretty easy. Um, so we're going to open a save. Uh, let's just do center perks because why not? And I'll be showing you how to uh, give yourself items. So first off, you want to get a comb shiv. Because that'll be how... Well, it's going to be what we're using to... Um, well, well, you'll see. You'll see. It's kind of hard to explain. So we're going to put it in our weapon slot. And in Cheat Engine, we're going to go to this value type selection right here. Click on it and then click string and then type in 109. Um, the reason we're doing that is because that is the value of the comb shiv. So we're going to do first scan right here and you see all this stuff. None of this is really useful unless if we take the comb shiv out of our weapon slot. Now scroll down slowly. Um, there shouldn't be too many options here like this. Now you'll see one like this that's empty after taking the comb shift out of your weapon slot. Now to make sure that this is the slot that we want, we're gonna put the comb shift back into our weapon slot, back out. And yeah, that was that one. So we have this slot chosen right here and you can save the, the address, to your address list down here, um, if you want to use it later. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save it. And so, yeah, now we can, if you double click this down here in the middle, um, you can change the value of the address. Now, a little window popped up telling me um, to change the value to something. So I'm going to put in 181 um, and then I'm going to press OK. Now, 181 is the value for a multi-tool, but um, you may see that there's there's no um, percentage for how much I can use this. So I'm, I'm just use it right here, and it broke immediately. Now that is something that is important to know. If you are doing a tool, what you're going to want to do is instead of regularly changing the value to just regularly changing it to um, an item value, after putting in the item value, say for a multi-tool is 181, you're going to put an underscore and then um, how much you want that value to be. I usually just put in 100 because it gives me enough for what I want to do. 100 is usually 100% um, or it gives you 1000%. It's weird. Um, so I'm going to put in 100. And so here we go. That's what it looks like. That's what you should have typed in. And so if we go into our weapon slot here, it'll have the multi-tool with the 100%. And now you can regularly use multi-tool. You know, just the multi-tool. So um, yeah, that's how to get items. Um, and you only have to do that underscore thing for tools. Um, so yeah, if like an item's not working, that's probably why it's not working. Now you may be wondering, how do I get the item value of this stuff? Um, well, it's in the game files. If you go to 
where Steam is located on your computer, then Steam apps, common escapists, data, then you'll see um, a little um, .dat file that's called items underscore ing, English, I guess. Um, if, you're, if you're not um, familiar with the English language, then there's other options. But um, it'll have all, like, literally every item in the game. Um, so super useful. It also tells you um, how to get each item, so that's cool. Um, anyways, so it'll have the item um, value above each each item. So if you want to look for, say, multi-tool, um, I already know the value because I've done it so many times. But you can do Control F to find. Um, this is different for me because I'm using Notepad++, but it should be the same mostly for everyone else. So you know, just find it. Oops. Um, you know, just Control F and then search for the item. So say I want multi-tool, then I click find next, boom, 181. Probably couldn't even see that um, window that popped up. But you should you should know how to do find. Um, but yeah, if you just you know look for the item you want and see the number above it, that number is what you want. And um, if it's a tool, do the underscore 100. And yeah. Um, so now we don't need that anymore because we are going to do um, stats and fatigue and heat and health and cash everything um even even the um intellect speed and strength um so yeah it's pretty easy to do it it's almost the same thing um we're gonna do it with fatigue here first because we're in here and we can lower it and rise it whenever and so currently our fatigue is 33 we want to pause the game so it doesn't change currently it's 33 in cheat engine we're gonna do new scan so we reset all this and instead of the value type being string, we're going to change it to four bytes this time. And four bytes is going to be for whenever you're not doing an item. Um, string is just for items. So you're going to change the value to the value of your fatigue, which is 33. Do first scan. And then, you know, you can let the fatigue go down like that, 32. It's 32 now. You can change that to 32 and then go to next scan. Now we have um, less less selections, and we're just gonna wait for our fatigue to go down. And it says 31. Um, this one is also now 31, but none of the others are 31. So now we know this is our fatigue address. So we're gonna add that to the address list so we can save it. We're gonna change it to zero, so you know we can have zero fatigue. Um, you can change it to whatever you want. I just change it to something crazy like this. Oops, I uh, messed it up. Hold on. Um, you know. Oh, it doesn't even let you go above like 100. That's cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, pre pretty cool. But now we can't really do anything unless if we lower it. Um, so yeah, that's how to do fatigue. It's the same thing for heat. And same thing for health and money. Um, it's not the same thing for this, but I'm going to show you examples of this so you don't get lost. Um, just in case. Uh, so yeah. We're going to do... Let's do, let's do intellect. So, currently our intellect is 29, so I'm going to do a new scan. Do 29. Make sure it's 4 bytes, because it's not doing. we're not doing items right now. So let's do first scan. Let's raise our intellect by two, two. Why not? Now it should be 31. Yep. And we change this value to 31. Oops. 31. We do next scan. And oh, it already popped up. So we know for sure that this is it. Add it to the address list if you want. So right here, change it to raise it like that <laughs> it's so fun just to mess around with these things so yeah it's, it's cool um so yeah it's the same thing for speed and strength uh, so yeah 
that was how to use cheat engine in the escapes hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later